Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to matte or add a border onto your photos in Photoshop. Now you can see behind me, here's a real life example of matting. So in between the print or photo and the frame is this white piece here called the matting that just adds some visual separation between the two. So that's what we're replicating in Photoshop today. So I have both a horizontally shot and a vertical photo, and I'll show you that it works on both. But before we begin, just to make sure that we have all of our available options present in the Canvas tool, you want to make sure you're working on a background layer. And you can see this says background, but if for some reason your layer is not a background like so, just go to Layer, New, Background from Layer. This is just going to make sure we have all of our options available in the tool. So the tool that we're going to use is called Canvas Size, and this will let us easily add borders and space onto our canvas and photo without cropping it and using fill layers or cutting into the photo with internal strokes. So what we're going to do is go to Image, Canvas Size, and in this tool we can see all the dimensions of our photo, and if you want you could change it from inches to pixels, but I'll leave it at inches. And what you see here is the anchor point, so we want to leave that at the center. If you want to experiment with other things, you can move this to create different anchor points to space out a photo with. But if you keep it in the center, you'll get an even border all around. Now the canvas extension color is the tool that was only available if your layer is a background, so that's why we did that. And I'm in the mood to use white, kind of like the matting here. But you could use black, gray, or any custom color if you click on this square. So I'll select white, and to add a simple border around our photo, let's just add one inch onto the width and the height. So we could turn 18 into 19, just type it in, or you could hold shift and use the up arrow key to add increments of one inch. So press OK, and you'll see we have that nice white border that in some cases kind of frames the photo nicely, gives it a little better context, and you could use this to post online to your website or social media or whatever if you're in the mood for your photos to have that white matting. Now there's also a popular trend going around where the photos on Instagram have that square ready but white matting too, so putting your photo into a white box, and I'll show you how to do that. Most people just use an app for that. Just go in the app store and type in like Instagram Square or I think there's one called Square Ready. And if you're just doing this for Instagram, just get one of those apps and you could put your photos into a white box or square. However, I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop just to give you a little bit more flexibility if you have Photoshop or know it. So let's go back to Image, Canvas Size, and to make it a square, we pretty much just have to make both of these dimensions the same. So simple math there. Now we could just take the width and copy and paste it onto the height because it's the larger number in this case. And this is what that would look like. But I like there to be a little bit of separation between the edge of the photo and the canvas. So we can go back to the canvas size tool and add an inch on each side as well. So that still gives us that nice border but also puts it into a square if we wanted to do that white square Instagram theme. So I'll show you how this works on the vertical photo too. So let's go to image, canvas size, and in this case you just see that the numbers are flipped. In this case the height is larger than the width, but same thing if I wanted to add the border, I'll just add one inch onto each side. I think that looks nice, it frames the photo nicely. Or if you wanted to make it a square, just go to image, canvas size, take the larger number, paste it into the smaller number, and I like to add an extra inch of spacing, and then press OK and you have your square image ready for Instagram or however you want to use it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned and be notified for future videos. If you guys had any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or find me on social media at Justin Odisho, and I'll see you guys next time.